guys, it's Danielle here from The Chow Down and I'm so excited to tell you about a restaurant that we're going to try. It is called Lily's Chocolate and Coffee. It's a super cute cafe in Vienna, Virginia, super close to DC. And this place on Instagram just looked so cute. It's all pink and that just has a special place in my heart. They specialize in making Middle Eastern desserts called lakmas. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm gonna put the spelling of it right here just to make sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. Um, it looks adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those and come back and let you see what we got and we'll try them together. Okay friends, we got the desserts. I'm so excited. They specialize in different drinks and coffees. They also have a special pistachio coffee that people rave about. We today, we just got something a little bit more plain, a vanilla latte. So look how cute their logo is. Flowers are throughout the shop, which I love. So I'm gonna take a sip of this vanilla latte. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's smooth, but it definitely has some bold flavor in there. So vanilla latte is a check. But let's get down to what we really came here for, and that's the desserts. So I'm so excited to show you what they look like. I had never heard of Wachmas before coming here, but they look delicious. Um, when I was talking to the owner and one of the other girls who works there, he, um, they were telling me that Traditionally, when these are made, they're not stuffed with anything, but they stuff there. So it's like fried dough balls that has chocolate covered over it, and you can put different toppings on it, and it's stuffed. We did Oreo, which is white chocolate and Oreos on top. We had Nutella, pistachio, I mean, so many different flavors that you can try. So I did take my pictures for Instagram before the video, so that means that it doesn't look as pretty as it did when we got him. So I feel a little bad. I should have showed you guys before I took my Instagram pictures. They're hot, but I mean, they still look good. Chocolate, well, you can't go wrong. Okay, let me pull one of these bad boys out so you can see. The back side, it is fried dough, and you can see the Oreos are all inside of there. So let's go ahead and let's take a bite. Mmm. 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 So good. I feel like I have white chocolate all over my mouth. You see inside the white chocolates inside as well. Look at that in there. So let me just take another bite. Mmm. Mm -mm. 10 out of 10 you could not go wrong with fried dough i mean they're fantastic crispy and hot and the chocolate's all oozing in there and the oreo crumbles on top they are so good they remind me of in north carolina where i grew up we would have state fairs and they would always deep fry everything at the state fair almost reminds me of like a deep fried oreo with like the crispiness of it, but just a little bit less Oreo in it because it's just a topping, which I like. So it's not overly sweet, but it is delicious. Well, you look at them again. They're a little bit of a mess because I've closed the box. I looked at pictures, but I took pictures, I mean. Um, but man, they are so good. Let me just pull one out one more time so you can just see the concept. I have chocolate dripping everywhere, but look at those babies delicious they come in different sizes i got the small which is a five pack and man they're sweet but not overly sweet and this would just be the perfect dessert 
man, it just, it's so good. Okay, the next thing we got is the Belgian waffle. So let me show you what this baby looks like. It's still in pristine condition. If you can see how pretty, look at that. Different fruits on top. This just looks like the cutest little dessert to have with coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and dig in. They did give me silverware. I don't have my reusable silverware with me again today, but we're gonna go ahead and just use what they gave us. So I see strawberries, I see blackberries, I see white chocolate, I see bananas, I see chocolate. It just looks, oh my goodness. Let's just look at this one more time. That looks like the perfect, perfect waffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bite of this so you guys can see. Let's get some, man, it's just so beautiful. I don't wanna bite into it. Some fruit in there, banana too. Look at that. That's a lot of stuff in there. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. that's decadent and that is so good man this waffle it's like the waffle even though it has all this chocolate and fruit on it it's not soggy it still is holding its crispiness but it's not overcooked which is i mean it's a perfect consistency and then with the fruit on top of it it's so good this is just a piece of waffle with just chocolate on it so you guys can see what it looks like. Let's take a bite. Mm. So, so yummy. So good. I have to say, Lily's, I thought that was going to be good. It looked super cute from their Instagram pictures, but they exceeded my expectations. The owner, I believe his name is Safe, he was so nice and kind and told us a lot about just how they make things and their vision for expanding so i think they have another store coming soon the barista was amazing she looked like she knew what she was doing the other coffees that she put out in front of us those look delicious and it's just such a cute spot to just hang out take pictures in and get delicious food this i mean i'm just i'm shocked because sometimes when something's cute the food is lackluster, but to have such a cute spot and the food be amazing, I am thoroughly impressed. So if you're in the DC area, definitely check out Lily's Chocolate and Coffee. They are a 10 out of 10 and you will not be disappointed. Thanks again for watching my videos. Keep watching for more videos on vegan food, vegetarian foods, great desserts, and great travel locations. Talk to you later, bye. I got a rose for you